Uh, good evening, guys. Um, tonight, um, this won't be an election prediction, but this, I guess you could say this is an election prediction, but this is a, um, basically saying how, um, Donald Trump, um, his scenarios to winning re-election in 2020, of course, um, very slim, um, if he doesn't pull off certain things, or very big if he does do something. But again, let's do the what are considered the, the safe states and safe time. We'll put in um, um, the very close states like this. Um, but we'll take off Ohio. We'll take off Virginia. Um, let me take off the independent color. But um, this is what I believe as of now. Um, what would be considered the safe um, the safe states um, for e each party? Um, Democrats, of course, have an advantage. Um, they would start off with 188 to um, Donald Trump's 164. Um, but he has to hold all he has to hold all the Mitt Romney states, which include Arizona, Georgia, and North Carolina. He starts at 206, and then he needs to. Um, of course, win that one congressional district in, in, um, in Nebraska and Maine, which are most likely going to, well, we'll leave that as possible, but that'll probably go to him again. That'll probably, that one congressional district will probably go back to him. Um, he needs to win Maine, I mean, Iowa again, by his margins. The same thing with Ohio. And he'll get 231. And of course, he needs to win Florida because without Florida, it's basically very, very hard. Because Democrat would have 217 plus the Rust Belt, which is all, which I believe will is going to probably flip back depending on the candidate to the Democrats if they pull a strong candidate like Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Bernie Sanders. But he needs to win Florida. That's a must. And as you see, he's at 260. He could do it with, uh, um any one of the Rust Belt states. And the first Rust Belt state that, besides Ohio and Iowa that was called for him was Wisconsin, which is how he could win the presidency. Something like this. And if, even if you give the Democrats every other state on this map, he stays at 270 with um, Wisconsin. And the Democrat is at 268. So this is one scenario how President Trump can win re-election, winning all the Romney states plus Ohio and Iowa and Wisconsin. Now we take a look at some other scenarios. Um, just to save some time, we'll keep alternating. Um, but um, we'll s this will be the starting map again. Um, 188 to 164. Again, he'll win that one commercial dish probably. And um, we'll leave this off toss up. But, um, he needs to win, of course. This is what most of the scenarios are going to be. He needs to win all the Romney states. We'll see one scenario that isn't, or a few scenarios that aren't like that. But, um, he needs to win all the Romney states. He's probably going to win that one commercial district domain. Now, this one, this scenario is, um, one of the most more unlikely ones. Uh, this is if he does win the entire state of Maine, which is unlikely, yeah, I believe. Iowa, Ohio, Florida, um, and Pennsylvania. But, um, I said that wrong, excuse me, but, um, and Pennsylvania. But this is if he loses Florida. This is a scenario if he actually does lose Florida and Ohio. He needs to win the Rust Belt, basically. Something like Michigan. Like this. And if he does lose Michigan, it's going to be very tough. He could win Nevada. And in New Hampshire. If he does lose New Hampshire, he could win in Colorado. But yeah, this this would be um, a more unlikely scenario. But a possible scenario. Um, of course, Colorado would be a long shot, but even with Colorado in the scenario, he could still win. Something like this. And without New Hampshire, it'd be a tie. So, that's another scenario. 
Um, then here's um, again one other scenario. Um, if you take a look at um, if voter turnout is back up in the Rust Belt, let's just say they went back the Rust Belt states besides Ohio. Democrats do win those states. Um, they start at 257. He needs to win all the Romney states, of course. Um, so then he's at 213 with Iowa. Um, he needs to win Ohio, of course. He can actually give up Colorado or, um, or Nevada, but not both. Florida, Nevada, and New Hampshire. Even if with the Democrats winning all of Maine, even with them winning all of Maine, actually, it's a tie, but with him carrying that one off trouble, this is what, um, another way he could win. Um, and then this will be, sorry about that, um, this will be the final scenario I'm going to be giving. Um, of course there are a lot many, a lot of other more to make, but, um, these are just a, a few off of the top of my head, um, but, um, if he does miraculously, let's say a Julian Castro runs, he does lose Arizona, he does lose these states, which would be, um, very hard, and they win the Rust Belt, um, you need to take away one of these states, where does he get that state? He needs to take a Virginia, North Carolina, Florida, New Hampshire, win all of Maine, and this is where he gets tough. He needs to find one more state, and this is very unlikely, I'm going to say this, this is almost for sure not going to happen, but he needs to find this in Nevada. As we know, um, it was actually very close, many polls showed him ahead uh, the day of election, um, election day. And he'll need something like this if he does lose Arizona. Um, he'll need something like this, which would be very hard. Which, first of all, winning Ohio is already tough enough. Winning Florida is tough. Winning Virginia is even tougher. Winning New Hampshire is extremely hard. All of Maine, hard. And Nevada, of course, is very hard. But the most likely scenario um, that I'd like to give before I, I um, get off um, is something like this. Of course, I keep saying this, when all the Romney states, um, plus Iowa and Ohio, um, even if they win Minnesota, again, even if they do win Michigan, even if they do win Pennsylvania, even if they do win New Hampshire, they do win Iowa, I mean um, Maine, he wins Florida, and he wins Wisconsin. This is the most likely scenario I see for President Trump to win re-election. 268 to 270. Of course, this is a narrow margin. Um, but it's the, it's the easiest. Um, but there's going to be small room for error. He could win the Colorado and Nevada. Maybe even a Virginia and New Hampshire. Um, maybe even Michigan and Pennsylvania again. But this is the most likely scenario I find for President Trump. Um, again, very small, but a scenario. He would have to win Ohio once again, win Florida once again, Iowa again, North Carolina again, Arizona, and Wisconsin. That would be the most likely scenario I find for him. Which, um, again, no room for error. Almost no room for error. Um, but yeah, of course, as you see, 270 to 268 would be what I think would be the easiest scenario. And yeah. Um, I hope you did enjoy this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment if you did enjoy this video. It, help, it lets me know that I do do a good job. Um, um, if you believe, um, if you see any other scenarios that I miss, uh, please comment them because I would actually like to read them and um, I actually would like to know them. Um, but, um, Please check out my last video. Um, 
yeah, please check out my last video. Um, please comment down any th any suggestions, anything you like. Please subscribe, and I hope you did enjoy this video, and I'll see you in the next one.